What's up, y'all? Welcome to Poseidon Analysis, where every video that's watched is a new video that's made. We finna watch this video because I had dreadlock, I had locks, is the correct terminology. I had locks and I grew it out. I had locks for literally two years, but um, they were unkept locks. I didn't really take good, uh, as much care for them as I should have. So because of that, I ended up having to cut them off. Um, and yeah, so and now I'm looking into a new hairstyle. You know, I want to do things right this time. So I'm just looking at a whole bunch of, you know, videos, tutorials and stuff like that. So, you know, I can uh, get my knowledge up. So this video is on by what seems to be a very cute girl and the title of her video is hair journey how to enhance your curls that's what i'm that's one of the things i'm looking into right now how to enhance my curls because i i my, i in particular have i have very natural curly hair so yeah i'm just looking to enhance it you know bring out that beauty so let's get into this Hey guys, okay, so I got a lot of requests to do this, like, hair journey video, so I'm finally going to do it, um, I'm not going to do too much chit chat, because I know I'm going to run off on tangents, so let's just get right into this video. In 6th grade, I think, starting 6th grade, I was straightening my hair all the time, because I didn't know how to manage my hair, like, I would see other people's curly hair, and I would think, like, it doesn't look like mine, but I didn't notice that it's just that I had a lot of hair. It wasn't going to look like anybody else's. So I was straightening my hair all the time. Um, and then, like, I think around... She pretty. I'm not even going to lie. I'm not even going to lie, y'all. She, uh... That, and that, that hair, that's definitely... I wonder if that's the finished state that for the video for the purpose of this video but um of her video you know but yeah she she looking good she's looking straight it's a nice little goodie bag we got for sure um freshman into sophomore year of high school i started to just leave my hair curly because not because i wanted to but because reading my hair just took a lot of time and i was getting really lazy because my hands would start cramping up so um in that area like during that time when i was transitioning my hair was like wavy i'll add pictures my hair was somewhat wavy and i knew that that wasn't what my hair actually looked like because i would look at pictures from when i was little and my hair would be in ringlets so i knew that i had to do something to fix my hair asap so um what i would recommend doing is a lot of hair masks there's like some good ones in like Walgreens and CVS, but the ones that I do are like DIY. They're ones that like with things that you can find in your home, like lemon, honey, things like that. So I'll make like, I'll upload some videos that are like DIY hair masks just to help you guys make those hair masks. Because I think DIYs, the ones that you make at home, are best for your hair because they're all natural products. Um. So yeah, when you're first transitioning, definitely do hair masks at least. Bruh, I need to, I need, I need to do my research because uh, I don't know what the hell she's talking about. To be real, to be perfectly real with you, did she actually use? Some, okay, that's the one product. Damn, she just talking the whole time. What is that product? She. I would wash my hair like I would regularly wash my hair, and then I would use this olive oil smooth and hold pudding. I'll leave it in the description box, and it's just. It basically holds your hair, so I would put in maybe like a leave-in conditioner, and then I'll put sections in my hair, and then use this and twist it into my. Hold on, bro. I need more light. I need more light than this. Hold up. I 
I can make a twist out video if you guys want me to. But yeah, that's what I would use. And that style lasted for like a couple days. So I feel like twist outs and braids are really important because it really adds that extra oomph to your hair. Because I feel like when you're transitioning, your hair is just so used to being straight. It's just dull and damaged. But once you use a twist out or a braid out, it just... It helps it form itself back together, if that makes any sense. And definitely the transitioning process is not anything that's going to be quick. It's not anything that you can see results in a week, sadly. In the beginning, it was very, very dry and just dead. And it was kind of wavy, but kind of not. And then in the middle, it started to kind of curl up. And at the end, you know, it's not what it is. <laughs> oh, gee, pretty, man. She pretty with that hair, for real. <laughs> Why not it? She pretty. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely try different products. Just a trial and error process, honestly. I wonder how tall she is. You know, I gotta have my girl, like, she can't. That tall, that tall mess, I don't, I don't, I don't play with that, bro. Cause like, I'm, I'm not like, I'm average, bro. I'm 5'8". I don't play like, bro, you can't beat my height. You can't be a little less than my height. Bro, you, you pretty much gotta be short to be real. I wonder how tall she is. I be hating when I see a cute girl, but she's sitting down. So I can't really, you know, judge. The height. Anyway, uh, I doubt I was about to see more um, of some. <clears throat> I thought I was about to see more of a actual tutorial where she's just talking, and uh, yeah, I was looking to to get into the actual tutorial. So we just want to end this, but yeah, man, this is Poseidon analysis where every video that's watched. It's a new video that's made. That's it for this one, y'all. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Terrence, a.k.a. Poseidon, a.k.a. Poseidon Analysis. See you next time.